And now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Kyle Dickett. Well, tonight is the last night, folks, that we're going to be in the 5 o'clock hour for our sunset. Clocks change tomorrow, tonight, tomorrow. And look at this, next week, 447 is when that sun sets. We look towards the end of the month, 430, so yeah. Oh, those winter months are fast approaching. Also, what's fast approaching is some rainfall. We need the rain, but we're going to be expecting some substantial rainfall. That moves in as we head into the overnight hours. A couple waves that we're watching with a big emphasis on Monday. We could see some extreme rainfall in some cases for some hometowns. We'll uh, track that out here momentarily. Tonight, temperatures will be in the 50s, not dropping much. We'll uh, kind of stay where we're at with maybe a, a little bit of a drop, maybe about 5 degrees. That because the clouds are building in that rain moves in as well. That's going to really overspread the region as we head into the overnight hours. But you could see this is going to be the trend for this round one is areas along the river into the west with a big emphasis west. That is where the heaviest of the activity and the majority of the activity looks to set up. So from the Quad Cities West, that is where the majority of the rainfall will be. If you're out towards Princeton, Kewanee, Sterling Rock Falls, Prophetstown, Savannah, you might not see the rain until we get to the mid morning hours and it might be more of a hit and miss rainfall. Definitely uh, much more of a widespread rain as we head further to the west. Now this does move out briefly as we get to seven o'clock into the evening hours. We should clear it out. We get a brief break before our next round of the one I'm most concerned with here uh, for maybe causing some issues. Temperatures won't move much. Actually, our high temperature for the day on Sunday might actually arrive overnight into Monday morning. This is the big complex that could produce some pretty substantial rainfall totals. We'll take a look at that in a minute. We get a break. This is something that's going to have to be watched here. We get a break. Temperatures close to 70 degrees, well above average for this time of year. This round is something that we'll have to watch because we could maybe see some severe weather with that. The potential is there. We'll detail that here in momentarily. You can see, look at that, with that round that moves up Monday morning. This is through Tuesday now, so this is taken into consideration both systems, but uh, we're getting rainfall totals up to seven, eight inches in some models, but not, uh, not much different for us. We've got that big red stripe there that puts maybe up to six inches for some hometowns. Here's what exact track is uh, given for ranges right now. Now and I'm, I'm pretty confident that these are uh, fairly close here, maybe up to an inch, inch and a half towards Princeton. But then look at that. You get towards Galesburg, maybe up to four inches on. This is on the high side, folks. So but once you get to areas along west of the river, that's where you're getting the two and a half to four inches. Look at Mount Pleasant, maybe up to six inches of rainfall. And I think that'll be more localized areas, but the possibility is there. So again, we got all those leaves that have fallen. Yeah, they're going to be covering up those storm drains, uh, flooding low lying areas. We need need the rain, don't get me wrong, and we're not going to be expecting any river flooding because the rivers are very low. So uh, nonetheless, maybe tonight, if you could sweep your leaves off those storm drains, that might uh, do some good. Once we get into the day on Monday, a little bit of thunderstorm energy, not much, but we notice that shifting of those wind arrows there. Yeah, a little bit of shear in the atmosphere. So as those storms move in, possibilities there that maybe one or two of them could be severe. Maybe a, a spa, isolated tornado damaging winds will be the main threat with that line. So something we're going to keep a very close eye on active pattern begins tonight. We're gonna have a first alert day for Monday for really focused on that heavy rainfall potential. Once we get into Tuesday election day, we taper off that rain 65 degrees. We're into the 60s, low 60s Wednesday, upper 50s on Thursday. Rain returns once we get to Friday. Well, one university in Iowa is looking for 